information the bangalore uh, city crime branch has uh, been successful in uh, preempting and preventing a possible subversive activity in bangalore city and uh, we have arrested five accused in this connection uh, uh, we are from whom we have been able to recover or seize seven country made pistols 45 live rounds walkie talkie sets dragger and 12 mobile sets the preliminary information or the interrogation of these five accused who have been uh, secured indicates that all these five persons along with another person who is absconding and who is likely to be abroad now uh, they were involved in a murder case of uh, 17 in bank and inside the uh, uh, jail uh, under trial prisoners regarding this case they came in contact with uh, t nazir one of the main accused in uh, 2008 a uh, serial blast uh, case and t nazir it is uh, uh, seen uh, seems to have radicalized these individuals especially the one who is now absconding abroad and uh, uh, the person who is uh, presently abroad he has uh, uh, activated this module and he has uh, um, supplied these uh, uh, weapons and other uh, uh, equipments for the purpose of carrying out certain subversive activities in bangalore city it's an excellent work done by the city crime branch uh, uh, who have preempted a possible uh, uh, subversive activity in bangalore city Sorry, further you... details need to be ascertained because uh, the case has been registered in hebal police station and uh, the accused are being taken into police custody and once the detailed interrogation is done we will be able to know to which organization these people belong what was their purpose what was their target and also uh, whether there was any money flow and other things they need to be established during the course of further uh, uh, investigation sir in which murder case they were arrested when they have murdered and for how many months they were in the jail they were arrested in a case of uh, murder murder of their uh, rival one uh, noor ahmed and uh, total 21 accused were there in that case it was uh, in 2017 they kidnapped noor and uh, uh, hack him to death along with uh, other two accomplices also get injured in that case and uh, they at that time uh, these persons were inside jail for almost 18 months and so there have been in the past as well question raised about he nazir and what about his whereabouts now is he still he is in parapanagar and what about the person sir who is absconding is he from karnataka he is from karnataka who is again an accused in that uh, uh, 2017 murder case group sir group sir kitai na sir yaar no they are all from bangalore uh, sir Atlanta. in the past the activities inside the parapanagara have come under the scanner sir now when we have somebody being radicalized inside the parapanagara do you really look at uh, you know how to do some sort of sweep inside the prison to ensure that you know there are no more sleeper cells or people who could do something similar sir sir adding to that adding to that even in uh, the cooker blast case even they were radicalized in belgaum one of the accused in hyderabad terror case was in present in belgaum he was the person who was radicalizing all those guys tarik and other inside the prison do you think you will and sir shumo belgaum prisons have become a safe haven for all the other terror activities no prisons are the place where all the criminals meet so naturally there is exchange of information there is exchange of ideas and other things will definitely be there and uh, it is also possible that uh, one person can influence others we cannot rule out that possibility but definitely proper watch observation and uh, whatever you say the sweeping and other things they happen uh, regularly we do conduct raids on the prisons and uh, identify for uh, the possible uh, uh, communication devices and other things so this activity goes on but at the same time uh, we have also been successful in uh, uh, thwarting whatever uh, uh, such uh, uh, efforts are there from these uh, criminal elements so, so what, 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 what about your background you were there were several cases allegedly linked with two arrows people asha dena do is there sir the training camp and i did sir sir what about your background and have they been trained sir with the weapons have they done any weapon training here as of now it doesn't it is not established but their interrogation is still on then yeah. only we'll be able to what about the background sir background is they are all uh, 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 involved in certain criminal offenses and uh, 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 they are working in uh, different uh, petty kind of uh, jobs and what about the person who is calling his background sir 
he is basically from uh, atinagar area and uh, uh, he is the main accused in 2017 uh, murder case and uh, atinagar atinagar noor murder case and uh, he is involved in small small businesses and other things presently he is likely to be abroad so could you talk us through some of the funding aspects of this case so where did the funding come from where it is seen that some funding has been done by the person who is sitting abroad now and uh, he has sent some money through various channels including google pay and other things that we are investigating so do you feel that probably central agency is also getting involved in this like the nia would be we are already in touch with the central agencies we will seek their cooperation especially with regard to the person who is uh, presently abroad sir.